Matthew 13, 24 to 30, another parable he put forth to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop, then the tares also appeared. So the servants of the owner came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have tares? He said to them, An enemy has done this. The servants said to him, Do you want us then to go and gather them up? But he said, No, lest while you gather up the tares, you also uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, First gather together the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. I was thinking about the tares. The tares are the false Christians, counterfeit Christians, the hypocrites, the pretenders, the carnal, professing that they know God, but denying his power to change them. 2 Timothy 3, verse 5. These are the false Christians, the tares, the counterfeit. They will act religious, but they will reject the power that could make them godly. Stay away from people like that. They are the kind who work their way into people's homes and win the confidence of vulnerable women who are burdened with the guilt of sin and controlled by various desires. Such women are forever following new teachings, but they are never able to understand the truth. These teachers opposed the truth just as Janus and Jambres opposed Moses. They have depraved minds and a counterfeit faith but they won't get away with this for long. Someday everyone will recognize what fools they are, just as with Janus and Jambres. So the tares in the church that stand right along with the wheat of the church in the body of Christ are the counterfeit Christians, the pretenders, they have a form of godliness. They look godly, religious, go to church, read their Bibles, love to worship. The way you tell a tear from the wheat, are they willing to go all the way with God? Are they willing to die to self and give up whatever God says to them they must give up? Are they willing to take up the cross, to deny self, to mortify the body, and follow Jesus, and obey him even unto death? If yes, they are wheat, and they'll be gathered onto the barn. But if no, they're counterfeit, they're pretenders, they're carnal, and the carnal man cannot inherit the kingdom of God. They will be gathered together and thrown into the fire, for that is what the Word of God says.